think that men are made from the mistakes they make at the expense of others. And their tithes are only paid as pounds of flesh years too late to be of any use of a cure. I have known boys whose mouths lay derelict for decades, overgrown with complications of alabaster, vows of silence, their only language. Faith in themselves relegated to lost and found boxes. There are boys as seven years proof of bad luck, broken childhood and shattered homes, reflections of the penance they endured, bearing ecclesiastical scars from the shards of prayers not answered. What about the boys born at the exact height that they'd eventually be, but never grew to their full reach and so stood suspended in air over shoes they would never get to fill, then denied entry to heaven, told clerical collars cannot be made of rope. All of them trying to be sacred in the shape of monasteries of men, with skin turned to slate, tongues tiled to the roof of mouths, steeple full of bells warning us away, held up by expectation, held up as an example, held up by not knowing that collapse is okay sometimes. We write blueprints for boys who become condemned buildings. Rebuilt as empty office blocks, luxury flats, the planned obsolescence of ruin, and we are told that this is progress. Look at us. We become the patron saints and architects of our own demise, trying to become men who go on studies in shadow of pilgrimages to find themselves. Memories of the Father, Son and Holy Ghost that was never made clear to us, with faith invested in preachers leering from pulpits saying, I didn't want to do this. You have no idea how sad this is making me. And this is hurting me more than it is hurting you. We empty spaces, conditioned to believe that no one believes in us, raised like the hell that we are told we are. I'd reach through the years of Catholic guilt if I thought it would change things, grab the priest by the throat and say, Father, I cannot be absolved of my sins unless I do better. And we must do better because we cannot do any work. I would scream this into the empty churches my brothers became, but my tongue is caught in a ritual of words and it is heard only by a congregation of ghosts. I have signal fires in my throat. Lighthouse confessionals that want to sing this admission into shadows. Same old tune of I will not sin in a way of forgiving again rather than the hymn of forgive me. There is a prayer. I tell myself, and it sounds like a poem. It is a prayer that we will learn how to talk instead of react. It is a prayer addressed to anyone who will listen, and it is a prayer that there will be someone who will. There's one boy on fire and another drowning. You only get to save one for your final exam. So you lift the wet boy from the lake and don't realize your mistake until Superman touches down. Sorry, son. We can't have someone who chooses their own over everyone else. The boy's brown fingers hold tight to your emblem, leave wet impressions on your chest. Next year, the same. And the same after that. Every time you choose wrong, blame it on Empire. Superman, his arm rung around your neck. We're trying to save the world here. His eyes, pure blue, confirming what you already knew. You always save the ones never meant to survive.
I never thought it would have. Made me feel so sad. So mad, so distressed, that my best friend and love, bond strong like a fist in the midst of a titanium glove, could and then would sex someone else. With no thought of me, just himself and his promiscuous wealth. December, you answer, is when it happened. And you don't know, it just sort of, well, kind of just happened. Well, did I come to mind when she was on the bed flattened, or is this a regular occurrence which is developed and patterned? Was I boring? Questions ransack my mind. Searching for answers so desperate to find Cause what you just said caused my heart to bind Wires bound round so tight that it's impossible to unwind Can't and won't unwind, I need to stay on guard Soldiers surround, imposters are bars Scaffold in holes together, pieces broken and scarred While mind forces self to feel happy and to laugh Cause what's done is done We cannot change the past nor can I think that this pain will last. I've got to hold my head high and move on fast. Put on a front and wear a facade because you don't understand how I felt about you. You can't even begin to comprehend the extent to which I truly loved you. And despite mine's might to take flight, I still do. Because truth spoke when I said you were my best friend. That's why I won't take it back. But I can't fuck with fiction. I've got to focus on the facts. Fact, you fucked her. There's nothing more to say. Fact, she didn't take the CP the very next day, nor did she take it the day after that. So it's a fact that in six months she'll be quite fat. It's a fact that we can't be together again. And a shame, because I've now lost all faith in men, seeing them so weak because pussy makes them purr. And you're just like them, because you purred after her. But it's true. When you say I've got something to hide, because I too have a secret rooted deep down inside. I did it too. I just let go. I said yes when I should have said no. So though it burns, I understand. And I kind of know why you took her hand. Went with the flow, all actions unplanned, because I've got reasons why I took his, and it wasn't an attempt to hurt or to diss, not premeditated, just a sudden kiss, stimulated by the sex-scented smell of bliss, and as the heat of the moment condensated as a mist, and I looked into his eyes, I realised I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> a compulsive component of character I had missed. The paramount power we both should have had to resist. Thank you.